All right, what's up guys, Dr. Liz here, and welcome back to another day of Signalis. So we're just going to continue on with what we were doing in the last one, which was pretty much exploring the bottom layers of the building we're in. So we're going to try and finish that, hopefully today. Um, I don't think we figured out what this full module thing is for. Maybe we should just drop it off. Yeah. Um, how are we for ammo and stuff? Uh, let's see this one. Stores a medium amount, large amount. Do we have any of the other things? No, I guess not. We still don't know what this uh, plate of eternity does. Weird. Um, so we were... What were we doing? I think we were just kind of finishing off everything that we were trying to unlock and stuff. What was in here again? Oh, this was the puzzle, wasn't it? Yeah. To unlock the um the lift things on the other lower levels. Alright, so I was thinking about what we've got so far that we haven't used and I was thinking um in terms of the music cassette that we found and put in the little radio thing there was a number on it that we haven't used yet so I'm gonna try and figure out what that number was was it on this floor I feel like it was on this floor yeah it was in the workshop the radio transmitter we're going to go see what that number was first and then we're going to see if we can use it somewhere because I think we need it for something. Oh, this is going to be fun trying to get back there. Um, is this the right way? This is not the right way. This is the right way. What was this again? Oh. Oh, this is where we got the cassette, wasn't it? Yeah. I remember. Is that the room we used the owl key for? I think it was, yeah. I am remembering. It's been a couple of days. I think we got everything in the room. Was it in the shooting range, I think? Oh, let's not go too close. We don't want to alert this one. Oh, this has got a sword and it's probably going to kill us. It kind of looks like a butcher knife. Stabbed by a butcher knife. Oh, there's a screaming one out here, isn't there? Actually, they all kind of scream, don't they? <laughs> yeah, bye! Woo! <laughs> You can't have me. Oh, wrong button. Inspect. Alright, it says one for two. I'm gonna assume that's what we need it on to. Actually, let's try it. I mean, if we put it on one for two now... Does anything happen? One for two. Oh, we're in the caution zone. One... Four... So this is the music that the angry person was just super angry about in his notes. Should we just leave it playing? I feel like we shouldn't do that. No, I think we should turn it off just now. Until we find something that might need it. Okay. Um, so let's have a look. I don't think there's anything else we need to do here except for the post box, but we don't have the key for the post box. And we did the island painting. We got the piano room unlocked. Yeah, I think that was everything there. So, E8. So we still have a couple of keys to get here. Because there's a few doors locked here. We still need to figure out what the star map is for. 
Oh, could we maybe play the music there? Or maybe in the bedroom we could play the music. Alright, let's go to that one. Oh, no thank you. Alright, we're on eight. So we want to go this way? Or should we try the... Do you know what? Let's try the bedroom first. Yeah, you can't get me. Oh, there was enemies in here, wasn't there? Ah. <laughs> oh, we have space now. We can collect all this stuff. Did we read that? We did read that, yeah. Let's grab everything that's here. Since we got all this space. Ah, oh, perfect. We got more ammo. What's that there? Looks like it's something else there. Oh, if we play it, will it interfere with the machines? Try it. Ah, no way! Uh oh. Pick up hummingbird key. Is that it? I thought we would get like the whole thing. I also didn't think it would have anything to do with that. Um, okay, we're done in this room then. But the question is, what was the hummingbird key for? I think it was a room down here. No, you don't. Bye. So we've got a door at the library, door in the hallway, and then two doors up there. I think all the doors are locked are just on this level, yeah. I don't think so. I don't think the music would do anything to that. Alright, so we need a library key there. Is there an enemy in here? I think there was an enemy in here. so lucky oh okay so it's this one used hummingbird key what happened in here oh there's another room klbr study what's this it, what, what this classified information commander eyes only as of this moment I am the commander. Previous experience with these replica models has given us insight into irregularities in their behavior that stem from the original neural patterns used for these units. Due to the sensitive nature of this information, this document should be destroyed after reading. Yells tend to form large groups and like to sing and dance. That explains the music, as the original neural pattern for this unit was a ballet dancer. Ah, I never would have guessed that. Persona de degradation can be easily prevented in this unit by making sure they have access to music through tape players or musical instruments. Always place at least one mirror in yield dorms. Ah, oh, that's why the mirror's in that room. As they have a strong urge to check their own appearance at regular intervals. Yield's persona stabilizes by keeping a tidy appearance and through regular social interactions. Those will often organize in groups of roughly 10 units and give each other themed nicknames. That's cute. Arar. 
Even though they may seem like quiet simpletons, do not underestimate Aras. While they may not show it, they judge those who are rude and or unkind harshly and will quietly share this judgment with their entire cadre. Lovely. Talk about cliques, it's gonna like bring you down. Aras get along best with youths who tend to be patient and friendly and have talent for reading Aras expressionless faces. In many facilities, Aras will construct service tunnels accessible only to them. Oh. Is that what those things are that come up from under the ground? Often under floors and in walls. Unstable units may retreat into these tunnels. It is not recommended to attempt to retrieve them. Our personas can be best stabilized by allowing them access to plants to take care of. Ideally colorful flowers or trees. Well, we ain't gonna find any of that in here. Or will we? What's this? Don't know. What this? Oh, I'll take that. I'll take that too. Okay. A marvel of modern technology, the Colibri is the most capable bioresonance unit ever produced. Uh, it's aided by a cadre of KLBR unit adjutants, which can amplify our bioresonance signals, as well as produce their own. Despite the diminutive build, Colibris are one of the most effective protector units. Able to directly influence the minds of replicas and gestalts, extract information non-verbally, and communicate among themselves instantly in the full bandwidth of the senses. Calibri's bioresonance is the closest recreation of a true hive mind. Interesting. I wonder if that's maybe the ones that we've been hacking? Like when we do the, the number thing? It's weird. Nothing else other than this, whatever this is. Pick up eagle key. What did we need the eagle key for? Was that in the Adler room? I think it was. Calibri's note. Keep an eye on Adler. <laughs> yeah, because we don't trust him. He's hiding something from us. There was nothing in his diary, but when I probed his mind, there were memories of an LS... TR unit working at Sierpinski? There's no record of that model of replica ever being deployed here. An order for a single unit for some survey work in the mine was briefly considered, but no new orders were made due to the commander's sickness. Interesting. Well, if he had memories of it, then it obviously must have happened. Range. Oh god! Seven, stat! Seven nine! God! Seventy nine! <laughs> Jesus! That's unexpected! One hundred. Give me another number, come on. Another number, please. Why is it not giving me another number? 149. Jesus. Did 
Do I still have my flashlight? I do. Thank god. Are you dead? Are we done? That was not cool. Of course we don't have any space now. Of course. Although we can always come back here. What is this? Ah, oh, it's the post box key. Oh. Alright, we're gonna have to come back. Where is the nearest, um... room to save. Clearly not here. Would have been good if they put one right in there. Bye! <laughs> Bye bye. Let's try to think where we're going. Oh, actually, we can go in here because there's the piano room. Okay, nope, sorry. Woo! <laughs> Scary stuff. Oh, wrong button, wrong button. With some sketchy stuff. Uh, let's just pop them in there just now. Same with them. Um, let's pop that in there just now too, because we're going to come back here anyway. Just going to go grab that stuff first. Aha! Sure! Okay. Oh god, oh god. Bad idea, bad idea. Get away from me! Thanks. <laughs> Now, if we go back in here, it's not going to, like, make me do it again, is it? It's gone. Oh, no. Where did it go? Is it dead? I don't know if these ones die. Oh, God. I think I've got myself stuck. No, we're good. We're good. Grab the post box key. Nothing else in here? No. Alright, we're good to go. Let's get the hell out of here. And never come back. Alright, so. Is there anything else we need to do on this level? We could head up to Adler's room. I'm pretty sure that's what the ego key was for. So let's do that. I don't have the ego key on me. God damn it. <laughs> I just put it away. That was stupid. Or should we go do the post box first, actually? I think that would be a better idea, actually. Yeah, let's go do the post box first. It's on here, isn't it? Oh god. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Never saw me at all. Never saw me. No, 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 no. It's scary how quickly they can track you. Alright, what we got in here? Library key. Nice. Alright. So, we're gonna go back. 
and grab the eagle key and then we'll go open both of these doors we're getting there we are getting there I feel like we should just finish all this stuff today and then maybe move on to the next part tomorrow because I don't know what happens after we've got everything in these lower areas do we go back up top? Is there a way to get back up top? Because he kind of kicked us down the elevator shaft and there was no way to get back. Or maybe we find a card that unlocks that. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Where did I say we were going? Okay, we're going down to the next level to get the... Where's that one going? Oh, no, sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. Are we? We are in the right place, okay. Bye! <laughs> Bollocks! No. <laughs> Why'd you do that to me? That's scary. Scary. Right, we're gonna take the library key. We don't need the shotgun rounds just now. Um, need the flashlight just in case. And we need... What do we need? We need the eagle key. Alright, let's do a quick save. Just in case. Just in case. Alright, let's do this. Whoop. No thanks. Oh god, let's go in here for a second. <laughs> oh, the one in here is still dead? Are the ones in here still dead? That's interesting. I thought they would have got back up. There's nothing in here right now. Let's make a break for it. Yeah, you ain't gonna find me. Alright, I think we'll maybe do the library first since it's right here. Here's the library key. Oh, are you friendly? My da. M and H R. We whipped your ass. When it comes to dangerous cargo, heavy machinery, and hazardous environments, no other model rivals the MNHR units with their high security power armored bodies. Yeah. Just a bullet in the face. I'll take them out. Even in lethal radiation, under crushing pressure, and in zero G, they keep their calm demeanor and show exemplary teamwork. Despite their hulking bodies, underneath their face shields a standard Generation 3 cranial construction can be found, making maintenance and social interfacing as easy as with any other replica model. Please note that the MNHR neural pattern is not suited for combat use. For combat applications, the SAPR variant should be used, which employs a combat capable persona in the same frame. Oh, that sounds like we're probably going to run into one of them too. Yeah, no thanks. All right, what is this? I don't know. Okay, we'll come back to that. I'll take that. Oh, oh, I'll take that too when I get there. Oh. Known issues part four. Previous experience with this replica model has given us insight into irregularities. Uh, I think we already saw that one. Um, oh, 
Like most buyers and individuals, Colibris will often subconsciously create an emotional feedback loop, imitating them broadcasting the emotions of those around them. Acting as a sort of amplifier. That definitely sounds like those ones we've been hacking. While they are trained to recognize and disengage this behavior, already unstable units can sometimes spiral into persona degradation. Mm -hmm. The constant exchange of memories and emotions between units of a cadre acts as a safety net that buffers extreme changes. However, once the majority of units in a cadre degrade, they will drag remaining units down with them. Because of this, it is important to decommission Calibri units instantly when they begin to degrade. For Persona Stabilization, Calibris should have access to a well-stocked library. Oh, you mean like this one I mean? Okay. Are you okay? Are you friendly? Please don't kill me. Oh, it's a Calibri unit. Who are you? You're not one of our staff. The others, they've changed. We no longer sing in unison. I used to be able to see into their minds. We were as one. Together, we guided them all. But now, I can't understand their thoughts anymore. I've never been so alone before. They're still together and I'm here, outside. And they won't let me in. I cannot stand their song anymore. This is the only place where I don't have to hear them. This is the only place I'm safe. I can't go on like this. I wish I had become like the others too. At least then I wouldn't be alone. I hate this. I think that unit is dying. I don't know. That's weird. Alright, what we got going on here? Alignment error, use manual controls. Oh. Where are we trying to get to? Oh, I see. Wait a minute. I see. I see. Oh, God. No, wait. Will that work? I think we're trying to get to this bit at the end. Hold up, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think we actually want to go this way. No way, that's not going to work neither. Oh god, what have I done? Maybe I was going the right way. Uh, what do we do? I'm so confused.
Do we have to get it in a position where there's no obstacles? That wouldn't work. I think we might be missing something there. Maybe. Um, so let's go up to the other room and use the eagle key. I think that's the first time they haven't got me there. Oh god. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, bye! Ooh, scary stuff, man. Those ones are skitty. God, this place is a mess. Oh, Esther. Isn't this me? Am I the LSTR unit they were talking about? Am I not supposed to be here? I don't think I'm supposed to be here anyway, but that's not the point. A versatile combat engineer unit primarily designed for orbital service. These tough and stoic loners are best suited as specialist sappers and scouts. Their technical knowledge and combat capabilities make these units true survivalists, especially when they're in their iconic white and blue heavy combat configuration. Oh. If this is me, how do I get down? Which sports bullet resistant armor playing on their chest and forearms. Since the original neural pattern for this unit was lost with the destruction of the Central Neural Archive on v Veneta, new LSTR units have been produced based on a decommissioned unit from the Penrose program. Interesting. I don't really need the light on. Whoops. Okay. What's this? Is Adler's Diary? Oh, it's gonna be long. Date 84216. I have been fascinated by a peculiar piece of furniture I discovered in storage. A strange box with a removable dial on the front that was confiscated from a worker some time ago. I was instantly drawn to it, though I'm not sure why. When I put my ear on the mechanism, I can hear it faintly clicking like a clock. Okay. Date 84217. Without Calibri's help, it has become much harder to coordinate the logistics cadre. If there is anything good to say about that woman it is how she knows how to make others respect her orders, despite her minuscule stature. <laughs> I went to see her today, but her room is still locked. Alright, day 8. I had a dream tonight, another memory of my guest all life at Dalib. I was wearing my uniform. There was a young woman, her hair white as snow, and I was conducting some sort of test. I had a deck of cards with astronomical symbols on them and asked her to guess the planet on the card I was holding. Okay, I think he's talking about Erica again. Maybe we can find that deck of cards and use it on the planet thing? Okay, day nine. Day nine. <laughs> I was playing with that mechanical lockbox again, of which I am now sure is some kind of astronomical calendar, when I suddenly remembered a conversation I had with another replica when I was inspecting the mining site. However, it was clearly a model I have never seen before, some type of engineer with an orange chess piece. Interesting. In my memory, she was just another member of our staff, but no such replica was ever stationed on... Tier Pinsky. Okay, so it wasn't the LSTR. You know, I'm I'm confused. Or was it? Replica memory is not the most reliable, they say. But never before have I experienced such a strange phenomenon. Date A. That doesn't sound right. The little enigma of that box could only distract me from the chaos around me for so long. All the box contained was a small notebook, of which all pages turned out to be blank. It has been miserable since our beloved commander has fallen ill. I long for her stern guidance, that overwhelming authority in which she bathes a room. 
Interesting. So this is after the commander got sick, but probably... Like, I think the last one is between when the other people start getting sick. Or the other units start getting sick. So date B. More sick, making my work even harder. Ever harder. How are we meant to shoulder this workload with no reinforcements? My only consolation is that as our protector staff decreases, so does the workforce we oversee. While more and more replica end up in the hospital wing, gestalt workers seem to succumb much too fast for any attempts at treatment. Hmm. Date C. Another diary filled. For no benefit but my own satisfaction. I've not ordered a new one yet since I spent my saved ration marks on that marvellous looking fountain pen. I guess I'll make use of that notebook. Oh. What do we have here? Oh. I think we need that eternity thing there. It's the only thing in here, so... Yeah! Okay. Let's see, where do we want to go? We want to head back to the lift and go down one. And we'll bring that back up here and see what happens. Okay, no! Please don't. There's nobody here! Stop it! Do, 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 do. Yeah, no, you're not gonna get me. <laughs> There's a lot of running backwards and forwards in this one. <laughs> Drop that off. That's fine. So I'm pretty sure we need this and I don't think we need anything else. Bye bye. Ah, no, don't do that. Oh god, I'm bleeding out again. I didn't bring any healing. Oh god. Mistakes have been made. Mistakes have been made. I just dropped some healing off, and now I realize I shouldn't have done that. Please don't. Don't acknowledge that there's blood. No. No! <laughs> I tell you, man, I tell you. I'm gonna die. Alright, let's see. There's a hole in the front of the box. It looks like something is missing from the mechanism. Oh, it's not lit. I was sure that was gonna be that. Oh. Okay. Um... I, I don't know then. What are we missing? No thanks! Bye! No thanks! Bye! <laughs> oh god, I've got to get past the other ones. Oh no. Um. It must be something in the library. Box. <laughs> I think they can smell my blood. That's why they just like were like, oh, there she is. <sighs> I think we'll heal up when we get back to the room. No thanks. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Y'all need to calm down. 
Alright, is there anything else that we have that we could use? Prepare, there's the photo module, which I haven't seen any reason to use that yet. No, nope, don't do that. Hmm. I think I did have a healing thing on me. <laughs> Oops. I'm stupid. Alright, let's go back to the library and try and work this out. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. Yeah, 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 I'm sorry. Okay, let's just hide in here again. <laughs> this, this units are just out to get me. Alright, let's try that again. Bye. Bye-bye. Alright. Let's see. What are we missing here? See, I thought I had to come here, but obviously that is not the case. So... I wonder if it has to go on that bit that I tried to stop on the first time. Let's see, how can we get back there? I wonder if there's a way to reset this. I don't think there is. I'm gonna try and get it to... Oh wait, is that gonna stop on that? Oh! It... Oh! It did stop on that. What is this? Take up astral... Astral... Strolup? I don't know what that means. Where did that even come from? What does that even do? Oh, well we're done in here, so... Oh, maybe we use that on the star map? Oh, let's go find out. In here, I think that's in here. What do we do? Yeah, we already know that. Maybe we don't use it on here? Maybe we should look at it first. So I can figure out what the hell it is. A strange clockwork-like dial mechanism with astronomical symbols on the front. I can't use this. Okay, let's inspect it. The back of the device looks like it might slot into a bigger mechanism. Oh, is this the key? Oh, wait. Actually, the back of that does look like the key. Hold on. Let's go to the other room. <laughs> tell you, this has got me running backwards and forwards all over the place. Yeah. So, go, oh, go through the door for goodness sake. Ah. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this works. It kind of looks similar to the, um, this. Yeah, to this, yes. Oh, yes, let's use it. Now what do I do? Oh. Is there anything lying around where we've seen this before? Hmm. 
Can we move the outside? No, we can't. Okay. Um. Does that maybe have something to do with the star thing? Uh. Oh, I've got an idea actually. Where is our? Okay, we need to go back and get the camera thing. Well, okay, no, sorry, I'm sorry, bye! Just... No thanks. <laughs> I don't think these people like me. I'm gonna go get the, uh, look. Oh my god, seriously, chill! How, how did they even hear me coming? <laughs> we have space for it, actually. Or we do. Alright, we good. Okay, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Jesus! Give me a break! Oh god. Come on, over here. Right over here. Come on, come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We're, we're okay. That was not cool. If we are not okay. <laughs> Actually, do you know what? Let's... Can we combine that with that? No. Okay. Let's drop that off just now. Uh, we'll take that medium one and we're going to take the full module. Now, the question is... How do I... Can I save the foals? How do we see them if we take a foal? How do we see them later? Oh, let's go find out. Oh my god, seri seri seriously? Let me back in. He's standing waiting for me. This is rude. Alright, we're just gonna make a run for it. I don't got time for this. I don't got time for you either. I'm going to sneak in here just now. <laughs> okay. We'll give them a minute. Alright. Let's go. Ooh. Uh, where did I say I was going? I was in here. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. So there is a star at the very top, so I'm assuming that one has to be at the top. I was gonna say, can we take a can we take a photo of this when it's like that? I don't know if this is gonna work. We're gonna try. All right, time to face the enemies again. Now, you can't hear me. I'm not moving fast. Seriously? No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, wrong one. Uh, let's just go in here. Really? It's too dark to see? Yeah, I've already been here like 10 times. Alright, let's switch back to this. Alright, so we kind of have to work out where all these ones were. So if we go to this and view photographs. I don't know which one's which, but it looks like... One, two, there looks like three. 
in between. So the big one is kind of like down the bottom. Let's do that first. Oh, wait, what? Uh, there? Yeah, I think so. Oh god, I wasn't finished. No, go back, go back. I think it's round about there. Okay. I think maybe we just have to move this one here. Oh, it worked. I didn't think it worked. <laughs> Pick up administrator's key. Yes, I don't even know what we needed that for because it's been so long. <laughs> the mine shaft, maybe? Shrine diary. Oh god, this is going to be long. <sighs> I've started. Oh no, this is his now, isn't it? Yeah, I've started yet another new diary. How time flies. The work is dull and monotonous as ever in Sierra Spinsky. A bright light illuminates my day. Today I was invited to a meeting by Commander Falk, and she was as magnificent as ever. Wait, this is not his, I don't think. Or is it? Another day passes during my meeting with the Commander today. I felt the strangest sensation of familiarity as I sat with her. Sadly, our meeting was interrupted by an unexpected power outage. I've been feeling strangely paranoid these days. Never before have I felt so strongly the sensation of deja vu as I have these past few days. When I checked the pages of my diary today, I noticed that for some inexplicable reason, I seem to have dated my previous entries with today's date. What an embarrassing mistake. Every day feels a bit like I've lived it before and even stronger in the sensation that something is, somehow, just slightly out of place. Why is my diary filled with entries I cannot recall writing? Why are they all dated to today? Has the loss of my beloved commander finally gotten to my mind? Am I going insane? I fear what will happen to me if anyone finds out. I am alone in this. If they discover my notes, I'll be decommissioned too. So we don't know who this is. Something is wrong. I can feel it. Is this really madness? When I read the pages on my diary, I recall events that never happened. Yesterday that never was, yet it feels as real as the one I actually experienced. This cannot merely be a defect of my mind. It feels as though in this room I peer into another version of reality. How? I do not know. Perhaps I too have become sick like the others without realizing. But I will not succumb. A slow accumulation of Reproduction errors, a gradual corruption of information, a story misremembered slowly morphing with each retelling, like genetic material mutating and evolving, like the replica mind copied over and over from an aging template. I do not know, but I will find out. It's very short. The answers lie below. I can feel it. Someone or something calls me from there in the mine. Yeah, okay, I don't want to go down there. No oh, thanks. Okay, well, yeah, no thank you. Why is the star map still red? That's weird. It's very weird. Alright, I think what we'll do is, um, now that we've got this admin key, we'll do a quick save first. So I think that was the last thing to get. Okay, no, buddy. Thanks. We're gonna go save up on five just because it's safer up there. <laughs> Much safer. 
There's a lot of bad things down here. All right, let's see what we got. We'll just toss that in there. So I'm going to keep the flashlight just in case we need it. Um, the admin key. All right, I think we're good. Now let's go see what the admin key actually does. Because we can get straight to the mineshaft from like outside pretty much. Seriously? Stop telling me to climb down if you're not going to let me climb down. See seriously? <laughs> it's on eight, isn't it? Okay, go in the door. You're over there, so that's fine. Bye! <laughs> Alright, so this should work now. Used administrator's key. Now, if we use this, is it going to take us back up top? Or is it going to take us somewhere else? Okay, so it's just us in here. We should be fine. It's the mineshaft access elevator controls. If she is still alive, she's probably there. Take the elevator to the mine. No. That seems to be our only option. So I think we'll stop right there. <laughs> and we'll take the elevator to the mine in the next part. So that was a good lot of progress we finished up in this area and we can move on to the next area in the next part. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next part of Signalis.